Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. It's been I think 10 days or more since I posted a video so I figured it is time. I am sewing, rush sewing, <laughs> these uh, strikes for uh, Hissy Fit. They're doing a pre-order for their 50th celebration line and I got to um, receive some vinyl strikes and some woven strikes so as well as some bamboo but that that i've already sewn so i'm going to make a quick project it looks fairly easy but very cute and catches a uh, catches the eye you know so since i'm sewing it right now for uh, for the strikes i figure i'll, I'll um, do a sew with me and sew and chat with me video since i missed you all so much i really did it's just that it's been super busy I, i'm I don't know if you know, but I also am part of the Parents for Pirates team and I do um, Every other month I do a sew along in the Parents for Pirates Group and I do film videos for that as well, but those go on the Parents for Pirates blog So I've been busy doing the videos for for the upcoming sew along, but I'm, I'm done with that I'm ready to go back to uh, splurging on a custom bag so today we're doing the carol crossover clutch or crossbody i will do the crossbody style even though the strap i don't have all the hardware yet but uh, melissa will send me i'm sure everything that i'm i need uh, i just need to place an order with her um so we're going to be doing uh the crossover the i'm not making any mods to the parent pattern the only thing that i'm changing is that i'm not adding all the interfacing like i'm keeping the vinyl as is because i want a soft bag i don't want a stiff bag um, i want a really soft one so i just lined my woven interfacing with woven interfacing you can use sf 101 as well uh, I left my vinyl online and that's pretty much it. I'm not, I'm not changing anything to the pattern. So uh, the pattern looks like this. If you're not familiar with it, it's a fold over clutch. I've never done one. So I figured what better time than today and I can show you this gorgeous, gorgeous vinyl that I have from Hissy Fit that will open for pre-order next week, at the end of next week. So we're going to start by creating the zipper flap. You have a um, flap front, so this is what we're using right now. And I also need my zipper ends. And those are made with vinyl and vinyl and lining. I have four of them cut, but I only need a pair, so because there's two zippers. So I'm going to use these two for now. The pattern follows a half an inch seam allowance, so I'm going to place these right sides together and sandwich my zipper um, in between those two. I am doing the large option, which means my zipper is longer than the smaller one, so make sure you follow the zipper measurements in the pattern. I feel like I haven't used my machine, my bag making machine for a long time. And as always, I do want to mention that I'm not a professional bag maker. I don't sew to sell. I sew my bags just for fun, just because I like to sew them and I like to chat with you while I'm doing it. So my videos are never meant to replace the designer's own video. And I do believe that um, Jen from Sincerely Jen does have videos on her YouTube channel that accompany the pattern. So do make sure to check her out as well. Mine are just uh, videos that are to show you that anyone can do a bag. Even though it may not look perfect at the end, it, it's a bag that you've made by yourself with your own selection of fabrics and nothing should stop you none of my bags are perfect and you know that I tend to leave some of the bloopers here as well so I show you that even if you make a mistake it can be corrected I just want to show everyone that you can do it as long as you don't expect perfection nothing should stop you all right so this is the zipper on the wrong side 
on the right side. I'm using this beautiful zipper pull in gold from Wizardry. My zipper tape uh, is the um, Daydream coils with on the blue background, also from Wizardry. So now I'm going to place my, this is the front of the flap piece. I'm going to place this like so. And stitch it down. Then I will remove the excess. I just want to make sure that I'm stitching Okay, you're only stitching through. Okay, so I'm stitching through here and then stopping and then stitching through the zipper. So she's not stitching through the lining. I have not done this pattern before, so I have it open right here next to me. Okay, so now I'm stitching through here. excited for all the celebration fabrics coming out they're so pretty this hissy fit one is just gorgeous and I am talking for for my non fandom friends I am talking about the uh, Walt Disney World 50th anniversary celebration <laughs> this is what I'm talking when I say the 50th I, I always assume like everyone knows what I'm talking about but it that's not the case okay so now I'm going to place the lining look how gorgeous is this looks like a foil with gold the lining right here and I'm going to stitch through First, the zipper part, and then the sides. My zipper pull. I'm sure I'll understand later why. For now, I'm just following the pattern. This is what it looks like from the wrong side. Um, now we're going to move on to the connector piece. And I do need to fuse, I believe, some um, interfacing to it. 
some um, Decoville heavy interfacing. Hold on, let me see. Top stitch, yes, it does top stitch only in between the zippers. So top stitching goes right here. stitching from here to here. I have not top stitched all the way, just the zipper part. Before we work on the bottom part of the zipper, so where the, uh, the other part of the flap is, I'm going to have to prepare the connector strap. So this is a one inch width. For this I'm going to use my um, double-sided tape. This is the wizardry double-sided tape that I absolutely love. It sticks so well. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to figure out. What do I do with the decoder? I think I'm going to cut the decoder to a smaller width than this and just place it on the inside okay so now I'm doing this is a quarter inch so now I'm going to fold that quarter inch towards the inside this way it will leave me with a half an inch strip and this is what I want to do with the decoville I want to put that strip like right in here in the center so I'm going to cut it in half because I don't want to fold this a pre-order in wizardry for it so if you didn't make it to grab the pre-order you can try for some retail when sh when it comes in totally worth it I've been using it for garment making for attaching pockets to dresses for bags it's absolutely perfect okay so this would need to be fused in but I'm not because you know I told you a few times I think if I use my uh, iron when I have my machine my industrial I blow a fuse so sometimes I have to just stop and turn everything off use my machines very profesh right <laughs> Again, not professional, but workable. So I'm folding the quarter of an inch, so now it yields a, a half an inch wide uh, strap, like connector. Okay, and this side right here. So half an inch. Now, you're going to mark an inch and a half, which is where you'll be folding on each side. So an inch and a half here and an inch and a half here. Before you do that, slide your half an inch D-ring 
This is the D-ring with the bar that I absolutely love from Wizardry in gold. And this is half an inch. Okay, and fold it under. You can put a clip or you can use more uh, of the double-sided stay too. Same thing on the other side, slide your ring in and fold at the one and a half inch line. Okay, so now grab your, um, the bottom part, exterior uh, flap back it's called. So grab this one, mark three quarter inch high so from the bottom place it like this right side up from the bottom mark three quarter inch and I drew a line so right now I'm going to place this right here at the three quarter inch line I will add some um, some of my half an inch this is half an inch just at the line here and since I didn't put it right exactly at the line I can remove it and reattach it not a problem with this tape and there like so and I will place this right on top make sure that it is centered so I'm checking to see how much I have on each side left okay about half an inch left on each side and there you have it whoops oh, see how sticky it is this sticky tape it caught my my uh, wonder clip okay so this is what it will look like and you want to go ahead now and top stitch around it to hold it in place but look at this sticky tape see two layers of vinyl nothing falls nothing moves this is amazing so let's go ahead and stitch all around and if you, add, if you want you can add a rivet as well and I will add a rivet, like a gold rivet. So I think I'm going to add a gold rivet. I don't have too many gold accessories. So now it's the time to, to use them. The little few that I have. These are from Amazon, but I do believe Melissa carries gold rivets as well. And I love her shop. A one time, a one stop shop. As always, everything that I'm using 
will be linked in the description of the video. My apologies if you hear background noise. It is springtime, so the palm tree plants need to be cut. So I have my people here cutting the, the fronds. Florida problems. When I moved here, I assumed once they cut it once, they won't come back for five years. And the guy was like, no, ma'am, we come every year for this. And actually, sometimes even twice a year. Okay, never had palm trees growing up, needless say, to say. Alrighty. There you go. So the rivets are added. And now we need to add the magnetic um, snap. So I do have one last magnetic strap from Wizardry and it is my favorite. I do have it in iridescent but it works very nicely with this and I'm trying to get out of the obsession of matching all my metals all the times. So I need a little washer. Let's see, which one does it go here? Which one? Up. Hmm. I can't tell. Male, okay, male half it says right here. So the male half is this one that fell. And I do have a, a little bit of a Decoville Heavy right here because I didn't interface anything. I do need some stabilization on the back. I also marked right here the, um, where the snap goes. So I can do the little holes. Okay. So the male snap. The back and I also need to add the deco wheel and the washer. So first the deco wheel and then the washer. And there you go. So this is the snap on the right side. And now we're going to take this and add it to, like here, add it to this, uh, the top of the flap, the same way we did it before. So we're going to center this and not stitch through the whole thing. Remember we stitched just on the sides, then stopped, then stitched through it. Okay, so now I'm going to stitch through this, through the zipper and the main. and then do the same thing on the other end.
if you care which way the zipper pulls, make sure that you uh, follow whatever preference you have. I don't care, so my zipper goes randomly. I stopped and now I'm going to remove the lining and stitch through these two layers. Remove, move away the lining, I mean. So from the right side it looks like this. And now we're going to grab the lining of this flap. Make sure for the flap parts, when you cut the lining and the main, you mirror them. Okay? Because they're different shapes, they're not rectangles. So now I'm going to sandwich, just like we did before. And stitch just through the lining where the zipper tabs are. I'll do first the center because it's easier for me. my finger when I'm about to uh, get to the zipper tab. Okay, so now I'm just going to sew this part and removing away the main, just through the lining. As best as you can get it. See, the lining and the main are separate at the zipper tabs. to top stitch just where the zipper is exactly like we did um, for the top part so let's open this up and top stitch where the zipper is gorgeous. Okay. So I'm assuming this will be flipped up like so. Yep. This will be flipped so the raw edges match. to stitch the right sides together and uh, okay okay I see so grab your main just the main pieces and bring them right sides together so the corner here matches and you're going to be stitching and now the lining the, um, the zipper tab is part of the main here and you want to stitch this down with a half an inch seam allowance. Okay. 
that's why you didn't top stitch all of those layers now I understand why I knew I told you follow the directions because I'm sure the designer has something in mind even if I don't see it from the beginning I haven't made bags for such a long, in a long time enough that I see the vision when he tells me to do stuff. I'm still at the point where I need to follow the pattern and then understand, oh, this is why that happened. I'm sure a professional bag maker, one that does bags all the time, knows like, oh, she's doing this because this will happen and so on. I'm not there yet. So this is the main, and now it forms like the pocket. So we're going to do the same thing for the lining, exactly the same thing, but on the other side. So see, I'm stitching like so here. And it will come together so beautifully. And now I do believe after this step we can remove the excess zipper um, so again see I'm putting the main away and just stitching through the lining here and here and now I'm going to flip our lining I'm thinking of flipping the corners just so I can get a crisp corner here like so see those two corners here and now flip your main out like so and watch the magic happen oh, so, cute. so cute pokey pokey device I want to push that corner out nicely Do it gently, but do it so it's nice and crisp. Oh, so gorgeous. Okay, so now it says to top stitch all around here. And we're going to do that. That will also press. I'm pressing the seam allowances the opposite direction. This way it reduces bulk. Okay. And then I'm going to stitch all around. I want to stitch it this way because I want to be stitching. Although this may not be seen. So this created that nice fold over flap. Oh, I see. 
and snatch that a little bit there. No, no big deal. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. How easy it comes together. Okay. So now you, if you're if your is cotton woven, you can definitely give it a good press. Mine is vinyl, I won't do that. So this is on the inside, and this is how it looks like on the outside. Okay, let's set that aside for now. I might go and give the lining a press. We'll see. Okay, so let's set that aside for now and grab your main body front. Main body front. There's two pieces that are pretty much looking the same. Main back, main front. Okay, the main front is the one with the snap and it's the one that's shorter. See, those two pieces I have the same shape, but the back is taller. So we're gonna grab the front and I'm assuming we're adding the female snap. I do need to go get a washer. So let's add first the female part of your uh, magnetic snap. And I did put the markings when I cut the pattern. So now I just have to add it to there. And again, because I don't have any interfacing on this, and even if you do, I would still encourage you to add a piece of the Decoville uh, Heavy or Peltex as an extra support. Okay, so this is my front. All right, now that we have the front done, where the flap will go, we're gonna go ahead and add the back piece, but we're gonna do it slightly different than we did before. So we're not gonna start with the zipper. We're going to start with the sides. So take your main right side up, place your front right side down. This way, these are right sides together and you can see the lining towards you. And now matching the corners here, you're gonna sew all around except for where the zipper is, but do move your lining away. So put the lining away and you're going to sew with a half an inch seam allowance on this side, on the bottom and on this side, okay? So it's a little different than we did before with the zipper. We're not going to sew at the zipper. Now the bottom, same thing, half an inch seam allowance. And I absolutely the love the names of the, the Sincerely Gen patterns. Oh. So cool. I'm a huge Friends fan. Huge. As you can see. As you can see, <laughs> my couch, my frame. I watch Friends every day. Like I, I fall asleep watching Friends. So for me, this pattern speak to my heart. <laughs> this one is named Carol after Rocky's first wife, obviously. Okay, so keep your... your um, Lining away, just like you did before. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. Now, take your lining piece, 
and we're going to do the same thing but on the lining side. So lay it right sides together with the lining. Okay, right sides together. And you want to sew all around the sides and the bottom, again, without catching the main part. So we're just doing the same thing for the lining, but this time do so with a slightly bigger seam allowance. Like instead of half an inch, do five eighths of an inch. It will make the lining feel tighter on the inside of the bag. And it will lay nicer. at the bottom, move away the main and just work with the lining. Five eighths of an inch. And then same thing on the other side. Again, move away the main and just work with the lining. right it's just a different technique so now because the lining is quite big the seam allowance sorry in the lining is quite big I'm gonna go ahead and trim it so it removes a lot of the bulk I'm trimming it to a quarter of an inch see it's huge And yes, I should probably not use these scissors for trimming, but I'm too lazy to go grab the other ones. So I'm thinking of rearranging my sewing room to move this table, the industrial table, to move it closer to the window for better lighting for the videos. And maybe I'll, I'll hang some scissors close to it. I don't know. My husband said he's willing to move my projector so I can move my projector here where is the darkest area of the room. <sighs> we'll see. All right, so now what we need to do is box those corners to create a 3D effect for the bag. Because now it's flat, right? We want to make it 3D by boxing the corners. So you just open them up and stitch them. like so and I, I put my seam allowances going the other way and again half an inch seam allowance and this will create a 3d effect on the bag on the bottom of the bag without having an extra piece for the bottom see We'll do the same thing and now again make sure that the seam allowances go the opposite way but this seam allowance goes the same way as the other end you don't want it twisting like this because then it will feel weird so like so with a half an inch and do top stitch at the beginning and at the end and that's for the main. And again, same thing for the lining. We're going to box the corners here. With a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. So a smidge over the half an inch that you did for the main. Make sure that your seam allowance goes in the same direction and that your um, seams m match here. Now 
we have this bag that looks like this. On this side is the uh, main, then you have your zipper, and on this side is the lining. So it's like a double pouch. We want to turn the main to the, up to the outside, like so, and pop those corners out. And see, now it's 3D on the bottom. And it looks like this. Your zipper is raw right here. You have a raw edge right here. And this is the bottom. Let's assemble the back. So now you have this right side out and then your flap right side out. So first step is to turn your flap lining side out okay then or before oh, make sure that you open the zipper all together so now this is your flap with the lining side out you want to put the back with the line uh, right sides together make sure that the side with the um, snap matches so you have your snap right here see this is the side with the snap on both sides, which means the wrong, the back side matches the part with the zipper. This is what how the pattern calls it. But for me, it's easier just to make sure that your magnetic snap snaps are on the same side. So now you want to match the side seams and pin all around. So I'm matching the side seams of the bag with the side seam of the flap and I'm going to pin this all around and then stitch it. You want to make sure that everything lays nice and flat. There is no bunching of any kind. is the where the raw zipper is so you'll be sewing this with a 3 8 to a quarter of an inch seam allowance wherever you can get it because here you'll be sewing on the zipper tape so you can do half an inch seam allowance okay so I've pinned all around and I'm going to sew, and I'm probably going to sew from the inside so I can see that zipper all the way around. constructing the bag but it comes together nicely so I am always open to new techniques magic happen. Hopefully we did it right. Okay, so I've turned this. I have my flap right side out. This goes in here. Oh, I see. I was like, what's gonna happen with this opening? Oh, and now I'm gonna top it. This is magic. I'm telling you, this is magic. So. I turned everything out and see this is where, where we've stitched so now I'm going to just top stitch the flap I'm probably gonna use some wonder tape you see where we turned let me see if I can zoom you in a little bit so you can see oh, not out in. Okay, here 
You see, this is where we turned it. So this is what we're going to stitch down. I'm pushing the seam allowance up. And now I'm going to top stitch. So I'm going to top stitch this so that will also enclose. That is genius. <laughs> that will also enclose the raw edge. So now I'm going to be sewing through quite a few layers of vinyl. So if you're doing this on a domestic machine, do take it slow. Again, this is where we turn. I'm folding it like this and I'm going to top stitch all the way and that will close this raw edge. Okay, I'm gonna go slow because there's a lot of layers here in the corners. You might want to trim the seam allowance in the corner, if you, especially if you're using the domestic machine. Okay. And I'm keeping with my hand, I'm keeping these seam allowances down to make sure that, 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 that they stay put. is so cool. I'm telling you, trust the designer. It, I would never have envisioned that it would come out this way. But see, it's like magic. So now there's no raw edges anymore. I'll clean it nicely afterwards. I can close the zipper flap. This is the main of the bag. And now I'm going to top stitch. It says to top stitch about a quarter of an inch so it matches this. So symmetrical. See how I top stitch here? It's about a quarter of an inch from this. I'm going to top stitch now on the other side. A quarter of an inch. My watch is catching onto the magnet. On the other side. and straight. And this is all done. If you've used woven, go ahead and give it a good press. If you've used the vinyl, you can give it a slight pressed press with um, pressing cloth on top and this is the final result this is so sweet I love it so you can wear it as a clutch and mine is floppier than yours would be if you've added the fusible fleece I just didn't add any interfacing because I want it floppier so this is the clutch goodness and this is where it's where the um, I'll, I'll make it nice before I take my pictures and this is where you'll be putting your uh, strap so if you want, don't want to wear it like an underarm clutch like this 
you know, because you totally could, and I probably will for the photos. You make the strap, and then you'll put the strap on this. This is so pretty. And this is the large size. It is absolutely gorgeous. I am in love with how it turned out. I knew that I would love it, but I didn't expect to love it so much. And it has a nice flap pocket here for a phone. And then you open it up. There's a zipper pocket here. And again, you can create straps and put them um, and hang them for a crossbody or a wrist for the small one, maybe. Ah, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And this is again the vinyl from um, the 50th anniversary collection opening at uh, Hissy Fit Fabrics. Links will be in the description of the video. This is opening March 19th at Hissy Fit, so do follow the Facebook group. My hardware and zipper tape and um, all the good stuff is coming from Wizard G Stitchery and Crafts. Definitely follow them on Facebook because they are bringing a whole line of new products very soon. And you don't want to miss that. My thread is also from Melissa from Wizard G. And uh, I really enjoyed sewing with you this week. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for being here and for all the, the messages I've been getting, you guys are amazing. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and turn on the notification so you can see when I upload new videos and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!